The Earth's core generates heat through several processes. These processes do not require oxygen from the surface. Instead, the heat comes from intrinsic or inherent sources within the Earth. Here's a detailed explanation of how the Earth's core gets its energy and creates heat. Primordial heat. Primordial heat refers to the heat left over from the formation of the Earth around 4.5 billion years ago. During the planet's formation, kinetic energy from collisions and the gravitational contraction of the planet's material was converted into thermal energy. This heat has been retained over billions of years due to the Earth's insulating layers. Called radioactive decay, radioactive decay is the process by which an unstable atomic nucleus loses energy by emitting radiation. This occurs because the nucleus has an excess of energy or mass. Here are a few kinds of radioactive decays, alpha decay, beta decay, gamma decay, and neutron emission, all L from different processes. A significant portion of the heat in the Earth's core comes from the radioactive decay of isotopes. Radioactive isotopes such as uranium-238, as uranium is the most common isotope of uranium constituting about 99.3% of the key points U-238 has an atomic structure are protons-92, neutrons-146, and its atomic mass is 238 units. Its stability has a very long half-life of approximately 4.5 billion years making it relatively stable compared to other radioactive isotopes. Thorium-232 and potassium-40 are present in the Earth's mantle and core. These isotopes undergo radioactive decay, releasing heat in the process. The decay of these elements involves, they are variants of chemical elements that have unstable nuclei and undergo radioactive decay, which creates heat. Alpha decay. This release of an alpha particle two protons and two neutrons transforming the parent isotope into a different element. Beta decay. The transformation of a neutron into a proton or vice versa is accompanied by the emission of an electron or a positron and a neutrino. This radioactive decay process releases a substantial amount of energy, which contributes to the heating of the Earth's interior. As the gravitational differentiation the gravitational differentiation, or the process of heavier elements sinking towards the center of the Earth, also generates heat. When the Earth was still forming, denser materials like iron and nickel moved towards the core, while lighter materials moved outward. This movement and the friction associated with it produced heat. This process, known as core formation, continues to contribute to the internal heat budget of the planet, although it was most significant during the early stages of Earth's formation. While the latent heat of crystallization, as the Earth's core gradually cools, the liquid outer core slowly solidifies and crystallizes into the inner core. This crystallization process releases latent heat. Latent heat is the energy released or absorbed during a phase change. As the liquid iron in the outer core solidifies, it releases heat, contributing to the overall heat within the core. Heat Transfer Mechanisms The heat generated in the core is transferred to the mantle through conduction and convection. As conduction that is the direct transfer of heat through solid materials. The intense heat from the core is conducted through the solid inner core and the overlying layers. This movement of heat through fluid movement. In the outer core, convection currents are driven by the heat from radioactive decay and the latent heat of crystallization. These convection currents also contribute to the generation of Earth's magnetic field through the geodynamo effect. The conclusion is. The Earth's core generates heat through a combination of primordial heat from its formation, radioactive decay, gravitational differentiation, and latent heat of crystallization. These processes do not require oxygen from the outside but are driven by internal sources of energy. The heat produced in the core is transferred to the mantle and ultimately to the Earth's surface. 
playing a crucial role in driving geological processes such as mantle convection, plate tectonics, and the geodynamo that generates Earth's magnetic field. In such a balance by depth, we were able to sustain a biological relationship between the Earth's core and the Earth atmospheric circulation.